Good evening, YouTube. Uh, my name is Anthony Wallace, and I am from PCDI Healthcare and Consultants of Texas, located here in Cedar Hill. I am a traditional naturopath, and I am going to educate you about um, traditional foods that were used to detox the body and prevent disease. I do understand that some of the people that I am uh, educating uh, may not have the uh, medical knowledge that uh, most doctors or other nurses may have. So I will make it as simple as I possibly can. And if you look over to the side, I will have some of the explanations uh, wrote out for you. So that way you can jot down some notes if you would like or refer to this uh, video in the other series another time. I will be going over again some of the uh, the fruits and vegetables that are used for detoxation and also um, uh, health promotion. And I also have a few uh, illustrations as far as the uh, recipes that you can use in them uh, that are not only good and tasty to me, but also uh, it might be good for your family. I do have a few notes that I have written down here uh, to kind of keep me on track. Okay. Uh, the first one we will go over is garlic, which garlic is pretty much everybody's favorite herb, I mean, not herb, I'm sorry, uh, vegetable, uh, at least some of us, okay? Uh, garlic is good for uh, shrinking tumors, did you not know? Uh, the actual toxins when you actually eat uh, garlic, and the toxins from that garlic actually uh, goes out into the blood system and gets into the skin and it actually will shrink tumors wherever they are in the body um, because tumors again actually float to a uh, place where uh, they can get much neutral uh, nutrients or uh, for survival um, that could be a major artery it can be uh, a major uh, source where blood supply is uh, actually going through um, or actually uh, vitamins. Uh, what tumors eat uh, are the electrolytes that are in your body, that are in your blood. So again, uh, the best way to get rid of a tumor or cancer is to starve it out, in my opinion, uh, by actually uh, putting in good leafy vegetables, uh, good herbs, uh, exercise, sunlight, fresh water, and fresh air uh, are a good uh, source of natural uh, therapeutics. But if you are actually on um, radiation or chemotherapy, if you are going through uh, that, uh, consult with your doctor first. Okay, uh, Ginger, which is a good source of uh, maintaining a healthy immune system, and uh, it's good for menstrual cramps. Uh, and it promotes digestion due to because of the bitterness of and the bite of uh, ginger actually will stimulate the digestive system to evacuate waste. Uh, zucchini squash. Um, the zucchini that I'm talking about is the big round one. It's actually, uh, you have two. You have zucchini squash and then you have uh, another squash that is, is green and it actually... Um, it comes up ever so often, but it is a sweet squash. Okay, it is good for uh, a sugar replacement, and it is a good source of potassium. And also, it is good for patients that have AIDS. Uh, a lot of sugars uh, are not good for people anyway, but this one actually tastes sweet when you cook it, and um, it is a good source uh, of vitamins. Uh, sage. Uh, sage tea is good for digestion and also it's accommodative. It's a light tranquilizer. Most people don't understand that uh, or did not know. Uh, you take the sage leaves, you chop them up, and you put them off into uh, a baggie. Or if you have sage in a tea, you, you put it in hot water, let it steep over five minutes, and then you drink it and you will see the results. Uh, it is good for anxiety. Bok choy which promotes healthy digestion and it's also a cancer preventive. Um, bok choy is actually um, cabbage, oriental cabbage, and it is very bitter in some cases. So if you steam it a little with a, a little chicken stock in it or vegetable stock, it tastes better or combine it with a stew. Uh, purple onion, which is good for digestion, uh, it's also good for conjunctivitis, which is actually the pink eye. You take uh, a bit of the onion, 
and you put it over your eye, not inside your eye, but you put it over your eye, tape it over, and about a couple hours, the pink eye should be gone. Uh, and actually, it's good for ulcers. So if you have ulcers or any other type of erosions, maybe from GERD, uh, purple onion will be good for you because it will actually, over a period of time, heal the erosions and the sores. Uh, and it actually kills the bacteria that causes ulcers. Kale. Kale is actually... Um, it's not a vegetable. It's actually the leaves from the broccoli. It is a good source of vitamin A, and it may reverse thyroid disease. So uh, if you went to the doctor and they said that you're... Um, that you have thyroid disease, uh, again, I'm keeping it simple. Um, boil the kale. It usually takes about 45 minutes to boil, it, or maybe uh, less than that, and put it with a little chicken stock, and it actually tastes just like collard greens. It's really, really good. Uh, lemons and limes are a good source of vitamin C, and also it is a good digestive fruit. If you are a person that eats a lot of red meat burgers or any other type of uh, uh, just meat, period, um, you put in an 8-ounce glass of water, combine lemons or limes, or you can combine them together. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it actually will speed up digestion for you. Yogurt uh, is a fungus, and it is a prebiotic, not probiotic. That's, a, that's where the confusion is. Uh, most companies are selling probiotic, probiotic, probiotic. Some of that stuff is really not good. Prebiotics are actually food sources for probiotics. Uh, in your digestive system, you have uh, bifidobacterium and you have acidophilus. Okay, they both work uh, to uh, make sure that the gut is is clean. You know, of bacteria. So the probi the prebiotic uh, is the food source to keep those uh, acidophilus or those probiotics. Um, strong. Just like we need food and water to keep us strong and living, they need probiotics. I mean prebiotics, excuse me. Chocolate. As much as I love chocolate, chocolate is very fattening. Uh, it's not just because of the, uh, the sugars that are added to it. The actual bean is fattening, but it is a, it's, can be beneficial also. Uh, for those that are diabetic, please do not eat chocolate to rescue yourself from hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia means low blood sugar. Hyperglycemia means high blood sugar. So if you are having signs and symptoms in the shakes of low blood sugar, please do not eat chocolate because it takes your body a, a long while to break down all those proteins to get to the sugar content of the, uh, of the chocolate bar. So you want to take something like peppermints, uh, a glucose tabs, or any other type of um, um, butterscotches or something but nothing chocolate-based, please. Uh, cinnamon is a good source of um, uh, for colds and flus. It is, in other words, it's a preventive, uh, and it uh, is good for um, blood circulation, and it speeds up your heart rate. Cinnamon on the therapeutic uh, type dose. If you have heart arrhythmias, please do not take anything that's cinnamon because it will actually speed up your heart rate, and also it'll make everything hot around you. It, it causes fevers. That's why it's good for colds and flus because uh, it, whatever burnt um, pathogen or bacteria that is in there, it'll actually burn it out. Uh, and it's also good for um, pesticide. Not pesticide. Excuse me. Yeah, actually it is good for pesticide, but it's also good uh, for parasites. Any other type of bacteria that you have in your stomach is good for that, okay? Uh, rosemary, which is a good antibiotic, uh, especially topical antibiotic. Uh, it is a calmative also if you use it as a tea or as in aromatherapy. Uh, and it was used as a perfume, so again, it's an aromatherapy. It's a, uh, pepper, which is strong chi. Uh, chi means energy. Uh, chi is spelled C-H-I. <laughs> It is, um, it promotes a high heart rate and a uh, lower blood pressure rate, okay? So they work opposite. Uh, it promotes good circulation and evacuation of waste uh, because it's a bitter herb and it's a spice. Actually, it's, um, it's a good digestive and also it promotes uh, 
speedy peristalsis, okay, which is digestion, okay, um, and it's an actual detoxer because of the sweat glands uh, being activated and uh, it gets rid of toxins through sweat. Uh, soybeans, if you are allergic to tofu, if you're allergic to any other type of soy, um, this would not be a good reference for you. Soy uh, is in tofu, soy sauce, which again is fermented beans, uh, baby oil and baby powder. If you are allergic to soy, do not use these products because they contain actual soy, uh, a soy extracts. Uh, but overall, it promotes good digestion. It is actually uh, a good source of amino acids in the soy milk and uh, for proper growth with the kids. Um, it is an alternative. Those that are, you know, those infants that are allergic to the Similac, uh, soy milk is a good um, alternative. For DHA and all these other types of uh, amino acids that are good for brain health, okay, and heart health, uh, and it's a good fighter against breast cancer. Most people that are in the Oriental uh, type cultures uh, do not have uh, high evidence of breast cancer uh, because of the soy protein, because actually soy beans contain a lot of estrogen. Uh, I do caution you, if you are a man and you are taking a lot of soy milk, there's a lot of things that can happen physiologically with you. Uh, Gyneomastia, which means actually breast tissue enlargement. Uh, there can also be um, symptoms of menopause, hot flashes, mood swings. So again, watch you know your amount of the good things that you take, but it's also good and it's heart healthy. Uh, soy lecithin, not to be confused with soya beans. Um, actually, soy lecithin looks like a very, very, very tiny granule. It's a, it's actually a grain. Um, it's, it's good for uh, heart health, and it's also good for the uh, lubrication of your spinal cord. Uh, the only thing I do caution is that uh, it will cause you to be constipated. That you have to drink lots of water with uh, soil lecithin. Uh, soil lecithin is also good artery scrubber. So those that are afflicted by heart disease, uh, soil lecithin by adding it raw to the salad and putting maybe light dressing over it, it will actually uh, uh, be good for you. And it's more like a teaspoon or two over it. It's not like a little bit, but a teaspoon spread it over and it cannot be cooked. It has to be eaten raw in order for you to uh, get the benefits of it. Noni juice. Noni juice is very overrated to, in my opinion. It has good health benefits, but according to the Noni website, it, uh, people have reported gas, bloating, constipation, and also breathing problems, rashes, and boils. So I've taken Noni juice in the past and I haven't had any problems with it, but again, you know, some people are more sensitive than others. Uh, so again, if you start to uh, see rashes uh, some places or, you know, or you start having breathing problems, please stop uh, drinking the noni juice. And if it gets severe, call 911, please. Um, blueberries. Blueberries are a good source of vi uh, fiber, good source of B vitamins. Uh, and it's a good uh, promoter of a healthy immune system for those that uh, constantly have colds and flus and um, allergies. Maybe blueberries, raspberries are a good source of uh, nutrients for you. Uh, leeks. Leeks actually look like a very tall onion. But uh, it is actually related to the garlic family. It is a good source of... Um, Flavoroids for your heart vessels. Uh, it keeps them from becoming damaged or torn. Over a period of time, as we get older, uh, the heart vessels get weaker uh, with time, and, and that could be because of the fluctuation of blood pressure, the things that we eat that are actually science experiments now, so uh, with all the preservatives. So, again, please make sure that um, you get you some leaks. You can cut them up, wash them really, really good because they get dirty and then throw them in a pot. You can put uh, tomatoes with it. You can put chicken with it. You can put potatoes uh, and boil them. And uh, they actually taste very, very good with a little salt, 
sea salt, pepper, and a little parsley. 